Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts. We are shooting down UFOs, surprise, surprise. We've got a squadron here of uh, two MiGs, Ace of Thorns, Andrew 22 and LP573 taking down this uh, carrier, I believe. And over here we've got another carrier, so yeah, lots of stuff. Uh, we've shot down quite a few UFOs over here, here's another carrier, which has... Androns, so that's gonna be nice and it's it's an industrial area. So we're going to do that right now engage and uh, Go <clears throat> This should be interesting. Hopefully we're not gonna lose anyone. We need uh, yeah. We have both of the predator armor guys or gals. I'm not sure I think one of them is a gal uh, We have with the mag storm, which is great. There's loads of damage Unfortunately, not that accurate over longer ranges, but still very nice for suppression and such. And everybody else should have a mag weapon now, uh, including the two shields, yeah. So, you can change the save game directory in the launcher. No, we don't want to do that just now. Okay, the camera is going to go crazy somewhere else. All right. So, we're over here. This is the entrance. Seems... Okay. Uh, this is the edge, and this is the edge. Excellent. I like these maps because they're narrow, which means we can just sweep stuff inside here. But I believe this is... Yeah, this is uh, one of those maps where it's quite uh, dangerous. Okay, let's go over here. We should already see some aliens, in th I think. Yep, right away. Uh, plasma cannon. Brilliant. So, we have to take this guy out first. Only 69. <laughs> Bloody hell, very nice, Major Sarun. Actually, that was one shot, one kill. I didn't even know we could do that with Androns. I mean, yes, the mag weapons are great, but I thought they, uh... They really, you know... Ah, crap. They had a lot of armor, even for mag weapons. Well, we can't really do anything over here. We can take a 22% shot. Well, that's not really gonna do much, is it? Oh, Ooh, lucky. Yeah, they're not very nice, these... These things. 36. Hmm. 25. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. But I took it anyway. Henchman. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go over here for now. We gotta be careful about these areas there. What the, hell, what the hell happened there? The camera moved like someone... Maybe this guy... No? No, what? Oh, crap! Sheila... I wanted henchmen to crouch and she, I had Sheila Booth selected. What the hell? Hey, that's not bad. 87. We'll take any damage we can get. Uh, ah, I might have used my scroll wheel, although I don't remember actually doing that. Commander Battle Bunny. Can you actually hit this guy and ignore the... No, not, can't ignore that block, unfortunately. But we can get him. Very nice. Alright, let's get into cover, just in case something else pops out there. Jezimal is going inside here, I think. Yeah, we need some, uh, we need some people inside. Gotta be careful, there might be Androns over here as well. But nothing for now, apparently. Hmm. So we're gonna go over here. Hopefully there's nothing back here. Captain Beatdown is going over here. Major Captain Corlea, a very experienced soldier as well. He's going this way. But he's going to hide, just in case an Andron or a Wraith or a Harridan, whatever they have, comes over here with a plasma cannon. He's not gonna care about this... Uh, uh, obstacle over here. I mean, of course, he might hit the obstacle instead of the actual soldier, but still, I would rather not take my chances. We need to check this uh, area as well. Mmm, that's... Ooh! There we go. There's one over there. I love this uh, mag storm, and both of them now have the mag storm. So you're going right over here, because we need as much firepower as possible. In the center, and that's actually it. End the turn. Boom, boom. Oh, 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 that... What was that? That was a sniper, I think. Because it didn't, uh, it didn't do that little effect where it sort of dissipates in a ball of plasma, which the uh, combat rifle has. No, is it combat rifle? I always forget it. 
I think it's a combat rifle. Alright. Well, lots of civilians now walking. Well, let's see what the health are, uh, what the health is. Hopefully not too bad. Because the worst thing that can happen is that your soldier gets hit. You say, oh yes, they survive. And then when it's your turn, they actually bleed out. Okay, let's see. Yeah, took quite a bit of damage there. And see, I bet she wouldn't have taken that damage if she was crouching. God damn it. Okay. 71 is not bad. Oh, come on. You hit before with less. Not bad, not bad. And you can take him out. Actually, do you have a med kit? Yes, you do. So let's do that, please. Oh, well. Never mind, perhaps next turn. Alright. Let's go find the rest of them. There is one over here, right? In this area. Let's go find him where he is. Hello? Hello? There he is. Right, we can do a burst over here. Actually, we can't because we don't have enough time and it's brilliant. Well, that's... Not bad. And he might have shot back. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, Major Captain Collier are gonna go over here and make sure uh, to cover Jezdemol's rear. Nobody over here, right? Oop. Ah, there he is. There's the sniper that was shooting at us. So we're, we're gonna have our sniper take a shot at him. Yeah, how do you like that? Didn't really do as much damage as I was hoping, but still. Not bad. Can you actually shoot from here? Yes, you can. Okay. He's gonna move, but still. Battle Bunny could actually take a shot as well. Yep, he could. Not very good, but... Hmm... 55 for an aim shot. That is pretty darn good. Let's get you over here. Did I ever mention that I hate this sound? No, I haven't, so I'm gonna mention it. I hate that sound. 95, look at that. He's gonna crouch anyway. <laughs> Lovely. Alright, Commander Russian Prime Minister, it's time to move forward. Let's just hope there are no aliens over here with uh, plasma cannons. That would be pretty bad. Okay, let's crouch, let's get your buddy over there. And let's get more people. Captain Beatdown. Alright. And um, end the turn. Fortunately, Shia is not uh, bleeding. So that's not a problem. Well, they're destroying more stuff in their own UFO. Or carrier. Which is kind of funny, that they actually walk through everything, but I guess that Andrins don't really care about the state of the inside of the UFO when, well, their entire existence is at a stake. And the fact that the UFO would be taken. Alright. You know, uh, games like these always make me wonder. Uh, we always have games where, you know, humanity gets invaded by aliens, blah blah blah, and let's, let's just leave out the fact that if aliens could actually reach our planet, they would probably be so advanced that we wouldn't stand a chance anyway. So, yeah, let's just suspend our disbelief. But I always wondered, why aren't there more games where we're actually the uh, aggressors? I mean, I'm sure there are, and I'm sure you guys will... ...will show me uh, a lot of those in the comments. Um, but wouldn't it be int interesting? And, I mean... Imagine that this was real. I mean, not Xenonauts, but that humana... Human... Human... What? That humanity was actually capable of interstellar travel, blah blah blah, and we would be attacking a planet like this. So, you know, they would be uh, trying to prevent us from... Well, stop our invasion. Would we do the same with our technology? Would we do... Would we, um, you know, spend the same amount of manpower and resources and actually tell our crew members that our technology cannot be captured by the enemy. Would we go to the same lengths as the aliens are doing here, where the aliens are expendable? Of course, maybe... Oh, God, that sound. Maybe this, you know, isn't really viable, a viable um, comparison, because the aliens over here are mostly, well, pretty much slaves. And, um, they're not really individual beings. 
so yeah, there's that. But yeah, it would be it would be interesting to see whether humanity would keep its brutality up. And just tell the soldiers, well, if you get captured, well, let's just put it that way. You cannot get captured. If you do, you have to destroy everything. All of the technology, and you, you cannot get captured yourselves. It would be kind of a gruesome thing. So either you succeed or you die. <laughs> But yeah, I would certainly love a an XCOM style uh, game where you're the perpetrator, where you're the invader. Would be kind of interesting. And, you know, just switch sides. As in, you start out with all this advanced technology and the, uh, you know, and the, um, the defending nation actually has to capture your down stuff and so on. <laughs> Would be kind of fun. Okay, there's two of them here. We have Major Sir Rune over here who can take a shot here and can take a shot here. That is pretty damn nice. But we can't take two shots like this. Actually, we can take one shot like this. And then, oh. I thought you had enough. Oh, never mind. Well, then we need another sniper. Reinhard Fodder. Oh yeah, of course, Reinhard Fodder isn't that great, because he's pretty... pretty new at this whole thing. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Uh, well, if I crouch, you won't be able to take it. Oh, you will. Okay. But not really well. Um, just, uh, Captain Beatdown might be in trouble over here. How about you go away? There. Holy crap! Commander Russian Prime Minister, that was awesome. Right, let's get more people over here then. Get them all ready. I'm not going to go in just yet. Even though I could, I have quite a few people that could. But I'm just going to get people close over there. I'm so hoping they're going to patch that. That is a horrendous sound effect. Alright, she is there. Then we have Commander Henchman over here checking out this place. But considering that all the civilians are still alive here, and nothing, we, we don't hear any shots going off, I'm pretty sure that uh, this place is clean. Captain Collier is checking out this side. Actually, why don't you just fly? Would be a lot easier to check things out. Because there are a few, quite a few places over here where they can hide. Okay, never mind. Let's just, uh... Oh. Well, never mind then. Alright, I think that's it. End the turn. Of course, I would also love if Xenonauts was actually modded into a multiplayer game. But I don't mean just, you know, stupid little one-off matches, like in the new XCOM. I mean, those matches can be fun, but only for a while. What I really want is an actual, um, campaign, where one player plays, you know, Xenonauts, and the other player plays the Aliens. That would be pretty damn sweet. Battle Bunny, let's go and check this room, actually, because I don't want any nasty surprises. Okay, there's no one over here, so that's good. That would be indeed very sweet and awesome. Sweet! All right, let's go over here. Jazdemo is going over here. Beatdown is going over here. Henchman is over here. And actually, you know what? Just join us. There's nothing over there. Then we have Captain Corlia, who's going in this side. Right, there we go. Bzz. And our two snipers, Major Sarun and Reinhard Fodder. Alright, lovely. End the turn. I'm gonna check the other side of the UFO probably as well, just to make sure that there's nothing fishy going on. I believe the, um, the developers of Xenonauts have said that uh, their primary objective is just, you know, get the game out and then fix all the bugs and so on and so forth. 
and that multiplayer was not in the plans, but I, I'm not, I can't remember whether, oh, good thing you were looking that way. Ooh, that was also a shield shot. That was extremely lucky, Captain Beatdown. Can you actually hit this guy? Yes, you can, but you might get hit again. So how about we just go back down? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that they were saying that they would like multiplayer. But as I said, I, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, 16. Oh, you could actually shoot this guy and then go back down. And you missed. Brilliant. Wonderful. With a 95% shot. Battle Bunny is going to check that door just in case. Okay, no one here. Good. So let's get ready over here. Let's get ready to rumble. Um... Reinhard Fodder, Sarun. These um, Max snipers look really cool on the soldiers. Very cool. These uh, Max storms just look like bulk. <laughs> okay. Ba-ding! We have someone else. Oh yeah, of course, Henchman is on there still. Come on, Henchman, run! Run! And end the turn. Nobody can touch us now because we've blocked the teleporters. That would be fun if the aliens actually had to eat. You know, not the Andrans, but the other ones. And we just block the teleporters, put a chair on it. There. Now starve. <laughs> Hidden movement. Okay, so. First things first. Captain Beatdown is probably going up there first. <laughs> Ooh, lucky. That's a really, uh, yeah. Bad thing. Okay, how about... Not bad. Are you still alive? Okay, the shield has 11 health points left. <laughs> so let's get someone else up here. Perhaps a heavy. Oh, well, Jezebel is there. She can take care of this guy. Bye! Nice. Very nice. Okay, you can crouch over here. What did this guy have? Yeah, of course, the sniper rifle. Precision plasma. And a Heriden, what is it? Warrior. It's not an elite. So that's alright. Alright. Let's get some heavies up there. Perhaps. J-Day. No! Man, this is awesome. Yeah, I thought Captain B down would get suppressed, but not a huge problem. Okay, this is a full block, so we don't have to worry about that guy. Let's get Commander Russian Prime Minister over here as well, but unfortunately he will not be able to shoot. Or will he? 45. Hmm. He will. Excellent. Let's crouch. No! Man, I love this. Unfortunately, he didn't get too many shots uh, on target. Well, that's alright. Captain Korya. Hmm. Let's go over here. Oh, there we go. Not a bad uh, shot from here. Excellent. Nicely done. Let's get the other people up there. Shia, let's check the doors just in case. Okay, there's nobody else over here. That's good. And then let's get the other people up there as well. And then we have Commander Henchman. Major Sir Rune, join us, please. Alright. And Reinhard Fodder. Do we have anyone else that needs to go? No. End the turn! And we are going to take over the upper and last part of the UFO next time. This was a rather clean mission except for that one, uh, well, problem with Shia. Uh, I'm, I'm still kind of sure if she was crouching they would have missed, but maybe not. Anyway, I will see you in the next part. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.